Hey, good morning. It's a Tuesday, November 9th. Thanks so much for being here this morning. We're going to continue talking about trust and building trust as it applies to your children, but actually as it applies to all of our relationships. This is a huge, huge matter for us. It's important for us to be able to trust because if we're going to build trust, we have to have trust. And that trust has to be in God. If I'm going to build trust, I have to have trust in God's faithfulness to me. Otherwise, I will never see that trust in my children because I will be trying to instruct them or trying to form relationships based on anxiety or fear or worry or people pleasing or being more concerned about what somebody will think rather than will bring honor to God. So if we're going to build trust, we must first have trust, and then that has to be demonstrated. Again, another familiar passage of Scripture, trust in the Lord with all of your heart, and all your ways desire His presence, and He will make your path straight. And all your ways desire His presence is Bruce Walkie's translation, and it's, it's so much more uh, meaningful than just acknowledge Him but desire God's presence in all your ways. If I'm going to desire God to be with me in everything that I do, I've got to trust him. And if I trust him, then I can show others that my security lies not in the performance of the people and my children that I'm working with. My security lies in the fact that I can trust God. Do you see the radical difference there? If my children believe that the way they respond to me is going to be the basis of my security and trust, then there's going to be a built-in performance mode, a built-in anxiety level, a built-in acceptance level, which has nothing to do with the gospel, it has nothing to do with trusting God, but about trusting ourselves and trying to make ourselves look good. See, that form of parenting that form of friendship and relationship building has got the world in the mess that it's in right now. So, for example, your, your very young child. You know, this will make mommy happy if you do this. Daddy will be displeased if you don't do this. Oh, today would be so much better if you would just do the right thing. Not hit your sister. Not say no. Mommy would be really happy. You'd ramp that up a little bit. If you could just for a moment stop thinking about yourself and stop listening to your music and maybe help me or help the family or all of your friends more important than me in our home. You see, that kind of thinking is not based on trust. It's based on trying to manipulate, trying to guilt, trying to control. Young children need to hear a confidence in our voice. We serve a good, faithful, and loving God. The reason mommy and daddy want you to obey is because this is what brings honor to God and will really bless you for all of your life. We can trust God together. You see the difference that that makes rather than trying to guilt or manipulate. Or instead of making an older child feel like the weight of the world is on their shoulders if they don't do what seems to be good to you at the moment. Rather, you want to point them to a faithful God by trusting in God yourself. So again, same type of attitude. These are the things that we have to work on today. I know it kind of messes up our schedule a little bit or it might be interfere with what you're doing. I want to make sure you have time to do the things that you're involved in. But today, right at this moment, 
We need to do this because this is what help, help our household function better so that we can serve God. If there's a problem, let me know about it so we can work it out. Because I don't, I don't want to make things difficult for you. I do want us to be able to work together because I know it's what God's called us to do. You see, the tone is so totally different. The attitude is so totally different. Instead of getting a friend to go along because, hey, could you really do this guy? Really, really want to do it? Maybe the idea is, hey, is this something that you, know, you think is cool? Because I, you know, I'd love to do this with you. But if not, it's okay. You see, your security is in God, not in the response and the performance of other people. This is huge in building trust. And that comes from you, you first of all, believing that God is caring for you. So your, toes, your, your trust in Him, and the Hebrew in Proverbs 3 is, is talking about just the total, bought in, trust and the faithfulness of God, that he is totally trustworthy. If we have that kind of rock solid foundation, then we have the foundation which begins to allow us to build trust in others. But it's gotta be in us first. We have to trust God. And that's the thought for the day, building trust. Can we build trust? Can we build trust? If we're gonna build it, I've got to have faith and trust in God. You have a great day. Uh, check us out, everydaytalk247.com. <clears throat> check out the resources section there. Uh, you can contribute to what we're doing here. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, consider doing that. Just turn on post notifications. These videos will come right to you. Again, thanks so much for being here. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you tonight. And that way we can trust him together. You have a great day. Bye-bye.